So I'd like to make an update. I'm on my fifth day now of dialysis. What is it like going from a normal life, not doing dialysis, to living a life with dialysis? It is kind of a, a big transition. I'm still new to it. I'm on the fifth day. And in this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about it. If you're not sure what dialysis is, simply, it is putting fluid inside your stomach, in your bladder, and pulling out, and it's pulling the waste toxins from the blood doing the job of the kidneys. So it's putting fluid in, taking it out, putting it in, taking it out. And I'm doing that four times a day. Breakfast, lunch, tea time, and evening. And each time it's taking around 30 minutes. And what I have found is a lot of rubbish, a lot of waste to deal with. You've got to be super careful with your hygiene as well. Yeah, it's taking around two hours a day, spread out throughout the day. I would prefer it not to be every day. I'd prefer a day off, I'm not doing it, but it is what it is. If I don't do dialysis, I need to do it for lit to live, basically. The option is when you're in kidney failure, doing dialysis or a transplant. And usually for most people, dialysis comes first and then transplant or people stay on dialysis. How am I feeling about this transition? I'm still adjusting to it. The training went well, apart from one day, second day, it didn't happen because my calcium was so low. I had to have an infusion, which took five hours. So I missed a day of training. What I will say, to be clear, I'm doing home dialysis, perineal dialysis. It is very fiddly. You've got to remember when to turn the thing on, off, put a clamp on, clamp off, and you've got to do it in the correct order. And there's a certain part you, you cannot touch. Otherwise, you can get an infection in your stomach. The second day I've done dialysis, I touched the tip of the, uh, the point you shouldn't do. Uh, so I called the ward, Exeter, and they told me not to do any more infusions. And it was a Friday night, and I had to drive one hour there, get this end changed. I forgot to put a clamp on, and uh, all water squirted out. I panicked, dropped the, the tip on my jeans, and I think it touched something, and yeah, I was gutted at the time. So I went to Exeter, did that, just to be safe, really. And they gave me some antibiotic fluid. Um, so everything's okay so far. And it just makes us, it was a lesson learned, actually. It just makes us be extra careful, even more careful, and slow down at the an important point of uh, taking this top off and putting this top on, like you're not supposed to touch the tip inside bit. So yeah, I am, uh, Still adjusting to this way of life and I will post more updates as it goes on. But I'll tell you, I am being looked after. The staff, Exeter, absolutely amazing with me. I've had some one-on-one -on -one care and they come in next week to do my blood test. So hopefully my blood should start to improve because I'm doing dialysis now five days. But I don't expect much of a, an improvement um, for but six weeks, so I was told. But it, it might improve sooner who knows it's new territory and um right now dealing with all the medical appointments the dialysis remembering to take tablets that i normally do anyway i've got a bunch of medication there's lots of in my life actually and uh, it's taking it's a lot of my my time it is uh, but it's everything health is everything i am putting this first and the the only thing that matters is uh, carrying on, looking after my health the best I can, and get a transplant. There's a lot of things to sort out around that in terms of finance and work, which I'm still going through. There's a lot of adjustments to be made, but I will say dealing with health issues and finance, the money, work is not easy because when you're not well, all the bills keep coming, they never stop. Just because someone's ill doesn't mean the bills get any easier, the way of life gets easier. If you find working and doing the daily hustle hard, you've got to deal with health issues on top of that. It's extra, extra hard. I say it's too much. The way I've been, it's been too much. How I see dialysis, it's a bit like eating now. I've got to incorporate that as a habit, you know, like we all eat morning, lunch, dinner, you know, basically 
if we don't, we're not going to live. We don't need, we don't live. Well, this is dialysis too. This is like eating. I've got to do it. If I don't do it, I won't live. You know, I might get away with, you might get away with not eating for a while, not doing dialysis for a while, but in the end, you won't live. So that's why it's important for me to do it <coughs> and get used to it. I know that some people get fed up after a number of years sometimes they get fed up of doing it because the quality of life is difficult and uh, I understand that but we've got to carry on we've got to keep fighting to live at times you know I am told I will get a transplant so I'm very very positive about the future a long way to go yet yeah. is dialysis painful and I'm not in pain now after my surgery now I'm walking now I'm not feeling any discomfort really and doing dialysis itself I'm not finding it painful you know the the fluid going out the fluid going in sometimes you do get a bit of drain pain when it's pulling fluid out but there's no fluid there it, it's it's uh, searching for it and it touches the nerves kind of thing and you feel what's known as drain pain I think that's the most uh, uncomfortable feeling the drain pain and I believe for once I go on the machine because I'm doing it manually right now, I'm doing the home dialysis manually. Once I've got the machine, then it'll be done overnight, free my days. I believe the drain pain is even more on the machine, uh, but I've yet to experience that and get training for that as well. But that will come in the future. So I'll update you on that, guys. I'd like to talk about diet changes. Is there any fluid restrictions or diet changes for me? Um, I've been told not really. I spoke to a dietitian, I told her my general kind of eating habits, what I eat, and she didn't have any issues apart from more nuts and more leafy greens, drinking wise, fluids, tea and water, fluids, orange juice, as normal really. On the diet sheet it says it's kind of okay to have alcohol, 14 units per week. Yep, tempting for sure, but I don't want to go back to alcohol, I don't see the point. So yeah, I think I've covered everything. Um, I'm doing very, very well. I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. We're on a transplant journey here. If you want to follow this journey, subscribe to the channel, this video, so I know you're interested in more dialysis videos and future kidney videos of how this goes on. So uh, once again, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace.